Okay, guys, we're back on the radio show, and let's bring in Marcus Edwards. How's it going, man? It's, it's going great, man. How you guys doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. So uh, you're stepping in as a late replacement in the main event of Titan FC 34 this Saturday. How'd this all go down? Um, you know, uh, I'll say Monday night um, I got a call um, about taking the fight, and it seemed like a great opportunity, you know, um, when opportunities of a lifetime presents itself, you have to act within the lifetime of an opportunity. So um, I did just that. I uh, got with my coaches and uh, made a decision in the following morning to take the fight. And, you know, now we're here. Wow, man, this is a huge opportunity. Um, just talk about your last fight because that went down pretty recently, did it not? Yes. Um, so, for the fans that didn't get to see it, just uh, talk about that fight, and uh, when was that? That was at the beginning of June? Yeah, so it was June 4th. Okay, so um, just talk about your opponent for that, and how the uh, fight went overall. Um, my opponent got switched uh, a couple times. Um, uh, I ended up getting a Brazilian black belt, you know, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a good learning experience, you know, I was, I was training and then focusing on a stand-up guy, and uh, last minute I got a, you know, a, a ground guy, which was a black belt, and uh, <laughs> it went into the fight, and it was it was an awkward fight, it was definitely um, a, a great learning experience, I never fought a guy that didn't want to fight, so, uh, you know, every time I hit him, he fell, uh, you know, jumping to pull guard, and, um, so, you know, I, I fought a smart fight and uh, just stayed real relaxed and composed and, uh, you know, just to pick my shots and, uh, you know, came away with the victory. Okay, man. Patrick Healy was once considered one of the best lightweights in the world. Um, just talk about his skill set. Oh, man, he's a very tough and durable um, guy, man. Um, I've actually had an uh, uh, opportunity and... Uh, um, to fight with him on the same card um, twice now out in uh, Canada when we fought for MFC and then uh, my last fight for Titan um, and it, it was it was awesome to watch him fight you know live and uh, just to see him how uh, you know he, he's very he's very uh, you know he knows what he wants and he goes after he comes forward and he, he he punches you he's not afraid to be punched he's not afraid to fight he's not afraid to get tired you know, he's he's what every fighter inspires to be or, you know, ha have in the arsenal. Um, he has it. You know, he's, you know, he was considered one of the best in the world for a reason. And, uh, you know, that's why we're all in this sport is to, you know, get to that level and to fight guys at that level. So, you know, when the opportunity uh, presents itself to fight a very tough guy and a well-known guy, um, you know, you don't you don't turn that away. You, you go after it, you know. Like I say, fighters fight. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm here to do. Okay, man, we're a few days away from the actual weigh-in. How much weight will you have to drop before Friday? It would be quite a bit of weight, but, but um, you know, I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to make it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a professional. Um, you know, this is what we do. Uh, we cut weight, we make fights happen, and we put on shows, and, um it's, you know, come Friday, I'll, I'll be at 155, and uh, come Saturday, I'll be prepared and ready to put on a show. Oh, hey, man, just talk about what you need to do in this fight with uh, Bam Bam to uh, get the win. Um, I just need to go in there and fight my fight. Uh, go in there and, and be confident in every situation and, and every um, exchange, and, um, you know, push push him back, pressure him back, um, you know, just get in there and fight him. Just go in there and have fun. That's the biggest part. Uh, when you take fights on short notice, you don't, you know, there's no game plan. You, you just go in there, you have fun, um, you give it your best shot, and, and you go get the job done. You go do what you, you know, set out to do from when you took the fight. Um, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't believe I could go in there and win and, and come out with my hand raised, um, I, I wouldn't have taken the fight. Um, this is a, a great fight for me, I believe. Um, stylistically and uh this is you know th this is going to be an awesome fight I, i've been you know it's funny I, when i was in uh, canada um i was i was supposed to fight for the mfc title my guy ended up getting hurt and um you know i ended up fighting up at 170 and you know he was there fighting at 155 and i was like man i, I saw him fight i was like 
I was like, it's, I had this feeling, I was like, I'm going to have to fight this guy one day for a title. I thought it was going to be an MFC, um, but it just turned out to be a, a, a last-minute opportunity for Titan. And, uh, you know, so in, in my mind, it was just, you know, it was just set up to be. It was crazy because um, this last week I, I had um, – Desmond Green uh, staying at my house for a week and, and training and you know I, I've just been training with him and just going hard and you know just getting after it and it, it's just crazy that I got called out uh, for a fight which his teammate was supposed to fight and um, you know I got the call and, and Desmond was right there and he was just like man it's meant to be <laughs> and uh, so it, it's just crazy how everything set up and um, you know turned out and I'm, I'm ready to fight and I'm ready to get in there and have fun. Wow, man, that's pretty crazy. Okay, like you mentioned, this is for a title. This is a championship fight. What will it mean to you to uh, win a championship in Titan? Oh, man, I, I mean, tell you the truth, man, like right now, none of that's really on my mind. I mean, I'm sure once everything hits me, it's going to mean, you know, it's going to mean a lot. Whenever you win a title in any big organization, man, it's a, it, that's a, um, you know, it goes and tells you that you're doing the right thing, you're on the right path, and, you know, it's a, it's a goal of mine. So, I mean, I'm sure once everything hits me and, uh, you know, all the emotions and, you know, everything, it, 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 it's big. It's definitely big, but um, I'm just a weird guy, and, and right now I'm not really, you know, focused on any of the, you know, any of that kind of emotion or big, you know, thing. Right now I'm just focused on, you know, making 55 and, and going in there and fighting. Um, everything else will come and everything else will, you know, line up. And, of course, the emotion and, um, you know, the, um, you know, all that will be there once, you know, it hits. But uh, as of right now, man, I I'm focused on making weight and, and performing. Okay, Marcus, how big of a deal is it that uh, you'll be fighting in the uh, main event on UFC Fight Pass? Oh, man, it's that's, uh, that's a real... That's a real big, <laughs> real big thing for me. I mean, that was one of the, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I, uh, I I took the fight. Um, you know, there's many reasons, you know, but that was one of them. I, I actually, I didn't even know, you know, any of that. You know, I, I train hard. I, I keep my head down and, you know, I, I focus on, you know, myself. You know, I watch fights, but I'm not too into, you know, what's going on with the promotions organizations. I, I love to watch fighters and watch great fights and, you know, um, but uh, I'm not too into, you know, what the promotions are doing. Um, not just yet. You know, right now I'm, I'm so young, I'm, I'm focusing on myself. But once I found that out and um, found out that I was on Fight Pass, I mean, I, that's huge. Um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for me. It, uh, you know, allows me to get out there and show uh, what type of fighter I am. And, I mean, come on, who's going to take this fight on short notice? Nobody. Um, I mean, this is what I do. This is, this is who I am. And it just shows that I'm a guy that's ready to fight at any given moment. So, you know, that, that, that just puts me into, you know, Dana Mike's mind or, um, or Joe Silva's mind that, um, that this guy's ready to fight, you know. doesn't matter, you know, how high water, you know, he's ready to get in there and fight, that this is what he does, and, and he loves doing it, and, you know, he, he's one of those guys. Okay, man, one last thing here. Give us a prediction on the fight. How does it finish? Um... Well, I don't really have a prediction. Um, I predict I'm going to go in there. I'm going to punch him in his face repeatedly, um, and it's going to continue to happen that way until the fight is to, is finished. Um, and uh, that's the way I see it go. I, I see him, um, you know, coming hard and pushing me hard, and, you know, he's going to have the, you know, cardio um, kind of game plan figured out, try to gas me out type of thing. Um, so um, I'm planning on that. But... Uh, on top of it, man, I, he takes a lot of damage. He withers a lot of punches. But, um, you know, I'm a different type of fighter. And, uh, you know, I, I believe in what I do. And I, I believe in, you know, my, my abilities. So I, I believe I'm going to go in there and, and I'm going to punch him until the fight's over. Any sponsors you'd like to thank or promote your social media? <clears throat> um. I want to I wanna go and thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without him, man, I, I wouldn't be here, and I, and I wouldn't be able to make any of the things I do possible. Um, you know, he's granted me with this opportunity of a lifetime, and um, I'm stepping forward to uh, accept it. And um, I believe he's going to, you know, anoint me with the power he anointed Samson with to go to uh, battle and, and prevail on top. And, you know, and on top of that, um, everything falls short.